back to the green couch. <laughs> okay, whenever we sit on the green couch, we must have something important to say. But the truth is, our kids are just down the hall and they're playing wildly. So we figured we'll go up here because we do need to tell you guys something. So, hasn't been the best day. I mean, whatever. I'm just trying to like be over it, but we had great news for you guys. And I'm sure a lot of you guys kind of guessed it. We've been hinting at it because it's a project we've been working on for over a year. It's actually something we were working on for a few years and it came to fruition this last year in 2021. And anyway, so the news that we have is what it is, is we have a TV show and we've been filming for this TV show. We've been really excited about the TV show. We've been going in for our interviews because it's a reality show about us and a couple of their families. And you know, after you finish filming your season, you go and you do interviews and everything. So we were excited about this. Okay. Like this is by no means a financial thing for us. It was 100% like, this is so cool. We want to share our story with other people. And we were just excited to like reach a different audience and everything. And it was a great experience. Our kids loved it. We loved them. We made some lifelong friends. I literally just texted the producer, one of the producers, we text all the time and yeah. So now I guess I should clarify and say we had a TV show. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt and spill the beans. But yeah. So yeah. So apparently we got a call today and we were on this group called like five people. And um, one of them was like the head executive producer. And then one was someone even higher than him from the network. And they were like, unfortunately your family is just too good and i'm like what we're too good what does that even mean like we're too good and she's like well the more we kept editing it's like your family is just so good like you guys are like elephants and all the other families just look like ants and i'm like okay <laughs> like and i was just i was like honestly baffled and kind of like at a loss for words because never in a million years would i have thought we would film an entire season, do all this stuff. I mean, they spent a lot of money with this production group. This was on one of the top three biggest TV networks. I don't think we can tell you the name of the show or the network at this point still, but I'm not joking guys, it's a, a big network. It was not TLC, it was none of those kind of big. This is a big network. And um, I don't know, it's just crazy. It's like. They, they just kept like, they call us a like Goliath. And I'm like, you guys. <laughs> That's why you reached out to us two years ago. Yeah, we like, talked they, to them in like yeah. 2019 or something like that. And then in 2020, I mean, it was a long time ago. And they casted us and the whole time they're telling us, let's bring it, make sure you're bringing it, you know? Yeah. And I mean, they were encouraging us to make sure we do our best and put our best foot forward. And we really did, we put our heart and soul into this. Not only did they give up a lot, we gave up a lot. You may have noticed we stopped filming for like a month or so. Not a month. Like we you didn't guys film that may much. or may not have realized. I think some yeah. of you guys did, but we really started slacking on our content. We started skipping some uploads, and then I kept doing my catch-up vlogs. That's because the TV show just took over our entire life. We were filming so much, and we couldn't film for YouTube and the show. It was just way too hard. And the show kept saying we want to film you filming for YouTube, and I'm like, that's hard. Like, it's really hard because they kept getting in the way. I mean, one of the biggest moments ever, our gender reveal, what you guys don't know, and in fact, if I can find the clip, I'll insert it for you to see. So we made a big deal because they got in the way at our baby announcement. We, I think when we told the kids that we were having the baby and they got in the way a lot. And I said, you guys, you're not invited to my gender reveal. I'm sorry. You've ruined enough moments on my YouTube channel already. This is a really big moment for me and you're not invited. And they were like, no, 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 we'll stay out of the movie, promise, you promise, oh, you know, whatever you want. And I'm like, okay, this is your chance. So I set up my best camera right in the front. And I set up two side angles to make sure I really get this reveal. And I'm not even joking. The reveal happens and a cameraman walks right in front of my main camera and he fully blocks it. And I get my footage back and I'm like, are you kidding me? I was so upset. So of course they were nice about it and they were like, well, I, I, have, I pushed my way a little bit, but I mean, they were nice. And I was like, you got to give me that footage. Here, let's reenact it. Ready? Okay. Tripod filming. It's a... It's a... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, they did provide the footage. So if you go back and watch my gender reveal, you'll notice we yell, it's a girl. And within just a couple seconds, there's a cut. 
and it goes to a new angle. And that's because they stood in front of my main camera. So we made them so, give us the footage from their yes. cameras because we didn't have any good footage. Yes. Honestly, the iPhone looked better than their cameras anyway, I thought. It did. And you can kind of tell some of their footage, it was horrible actually. At first, the color correction was horrible. Mm -hmm. And we had to kind of work with it. I mean, you can, you can, you'll tell. And there was another moment too, actually. Um, it was when we had some family and friends in town and we all got in the ball pit. Like my best friend was here, mm -hmm. Matt's brother was here, and our dog jumped in the ball pit. And cameraman, again, messed up the scene. So we got the footage from them, but it was so dark, my editor couldn't use it. And so she did this really cool effect where she like put like, like lines on the screen. So if you guys remember that video, now you'll know why that footage looked the way it did. And I thought the effect was really cool, but we had to use the effect on screen, otherwise the footage was horrible. But it was such a cool moment. And there was a lot of moments in the last like six months before Chloe was born, where we just, you know, we're like, man, like Alyssa and I, we did this girl's day. We went out to ice cream and we went shopping in a little shop. And there was a lot more that day that was going to be on the show, but they wanted me to vlog so badly. So I filmed a little snippet here and there. But like I said, we kept doing these little catch up vlogs because it was like, okay, I got two minutes this day. I got two minutes this day because you're taking up my entire day and you're making me do all this other stuff. So it was very, very tricky to film for the show and for YouTube, and I obviously was not gonna give up YouTube because you guys, we love you all. Like, this is where it's at. This is what I love doing. So, it was tricky last year. Here's a crew bag. This looks like a little to-go bag of microphone stuff. Ooh, it's always fun, I right? Take it. <laughs> Literally, anyone could just like walk up and take it. Like, I know, I just, like, the crew's it. gone. Like, we're standing here, <laughs> there's no one. Like, I'm ready to Luckily, fight. we're here though, because we're protecting their <laughs> valuables right there. This is behind the scenes of our shoot. We're filming over here. And this is our crew. There's Alyssa and my mom. Every time we're filming a video and they're filming us filming a video, they would have to hit their talking points and then they'd be gone and we'd be so exhausted because it'd be like 8 or 10 p.m. We don't want to finish. We couldn't even finish the video and they'd be like, what do we do with this footage? It's like yeah. enough for a fourth of a video maybe. So I came up with the ketchup vlog idea. Mm -hmm. Alyssa and I would just sit down and we'd talk about it and then we'd show you guys like the little bit we got and it worked. I mean a lot of people like that and I kind of like watching those anyway because it was a snippet of all the stuff we were doing. Yeah. And we had a lot of fun though. We filmed a lot of behind the scenes stuff and we filmed a lot with our favorite producer. He was so nice and a lot of the camera people. Yeah, they there really there liked were some nice kids. people. Yeah. Yes. We had a lot of really nice crew members and I mean it was good. I mean, although now I'm looking back and they kept telling me, man, your kids are so well behaved. And they weren't supposed to talk about the other families, but there were certain crew members that would. And they'd be like, man, this one girl, she's 12, but she acts like she's six. And there's like seven of her, but she's an only child. And she's like, I, I don't know how your kids can act so well behaved because there's this one kid we work with and I'd be like, you know, and now I'm thinking, well, gosh, maybe I should have just told my kids, you know, bounce off the walls. Like, <laughs> don't have good behavior because clearly we were too good. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. It's just, I mean, it's like, you want to think of it as a compliment. Like, oh, wow, you said we were so great. You can't put us on the show, but like, no, it's kind of like a slap in the face, practically an insult. Like, sorry, you guys are just too good for us. Like, thanks. I'm so proud. Yeah, it's like they changed <laughs> their strategy, you know, like, well, let's call the show this. Let's tell this story. They changed they, the name of the show like one month yeah, ago. Yeah, and then they said no matter how much they edited it, they couldn't tell the story they wanted to with us because it just made it seem like we're already there and everyone else is still trying to yeah. get where they want to be, so. Yeah, they just said no matter what they did, although changing the name of the show made it Yes, it changed the less in our favor yeah. because the name of the show now wasn't what we were doing yeah. and the name of the show originally was what we are and I don't know. I mean, we didn't have enough drama. It's like so confusing. I'm still trying to wrap my head around the whole thing and like figure it out and try to not be like completely hurt and offended. We let them in on some big things like meeting our surrogate for the first time. Yes. In fact, we talked about this before, but we weren't going to tell anyone we were using a surrogate. No one. And except my parents, obviously. But like, it wasn't going to be known on the channel and our surrogate wasn't going to know about the channel. Like everything was going to be very, very tight on that whole thing. And um, 
the show encouraged us to share and that's what we did and I don't regret it like I'm happy about it it's fine but it's because of the show you know like we did that and and it's just crazy I mean they actually asked us if we would go to Las Vegas for a trip and if we would personally put up the entire crew in hotels and I'm I said no I was like what do you think I made of money no like I have my own kids to take care of you know and their whole production crew. Because they're supposed to be naturally showing what we'd be doing on a daily basis. Yeah. And that's not naturally what we would do. Yeah. We don't just go to Las Vegas and learn amazing things. But I mean, I, I was thinking today, imagine how we done that. How yeah. mad we'd be right now thinking, oh my gosh, I just put up this huge crew of like oh, 30 yeah. people in hotels and they probably all don't have to have their own hotel. Oh, yeah. I can't even imagine what yeah, that would cost. Yeah, pay for their food and like yeah. the transportation. And, and imagine how we'd done that. Paid all that money. Cost per mile. Yeah. I, yeah, and then and then it just gets scrapped. So I'm glad that we didn't do that. There was a lot of times that we were asked to like put our own money into things and do things. And 100 percent of the time I said no. I was like, if it's not what I normally do, I will not pay for it. Yeah, because and we talked to people and we know the TV budget for one episode is like four hundred thousand dollars, which is mind-boggling for all the editing and all the crew and the insurance and the teachers and everything. Yeah. And then the talent gets like not even 1% of that. Yeah. And, and so like, we are the talent, but we were willing to do this just because we wanted to reach another audience. Like she said, like there really wasn't much money in it for us. No, but if it was about the money, we would have said absolutely yeah. no, we are not doing your yeah. show. But because for us, it wasn't about the money, it was about just the experience yes. and the possible exposure to new people. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm doing it. Like, yeah, let's and, do and it. to know their budget is this much for one episode. And they're not willing to like do this and you know. Yeah, they're like, no, we can't pay for your lunch. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Everyone okay. else we talk to like, no, no, that's not true. They've got a budget like this and you know. Yeah, we, we found out a little later yeah. on that they had a really big budget, but. But we didn't realize they would just suddenly say after the fact, hey, we decided not to use yeah. any of it. They're like, what? Yeah, we were, I was shocked. Does that really happen like, that much? But apparently it's a thing. I thought maybe they're gonna talk about something else on the call. I mean, I kind of had a bad feeling, but I mean, I was still trying to keep positive and I was just like, what? Like, no, for real? Like, let me argue my point. Like, let me make a case to you guys. But it was kind of like, no, this is like someone extremely high at the network. Like they've already gone up the ranks and like this person just said like, nope, we, don't, we can't have them anymore. They're just too good. They're too big, won't work. And I'm just thinking, man, we filmed some good stuff and I feel bad because you guys are never going to see it because it's stuff we didn't film for YouTube. For example, um, we filmed our first time like meeting the surrogate our actual first time we filmed all of that and I don't think we vlogged that much really we kind of just filmed for the show and then we also had and that was cameras. a really emotional moment I know like she was already carrying our baby and we hadn't met her in person yeah. yet and now we're sharing it with the TV people and they're following us during the parking lot and stuff and in fact the TV like, oh people gosh, knew about is... our baby and that it was a surrogate before my parents did we hadn't even told my parents we were expecting. We let the TV show film that moment. Like, there's yeah. a lot of things that I was like, Ugh. like they're they're pushy, okay? Like, I'm pretty strong willed, and I usually get my way. But I mean, these guys, they just they know how to push you, and they know how to get what they want. They can guilt trip you, and like, and and the crazy thing about it too is like. The whole show, they're like, come on, you gotta bring it, you gotta bring it. And I just keep thinking about yeah, that. You gotta make the good content for the And show. I'm thinking like, well, we obviously brought it and we brought it too well. Like, <laughs> we're punished for doing our best. It's like, who does that? Like, you don't yeah, get punished it's... for trying hard. I, I just can't, I keep replaying that. Like, everything that we heard, I don't know. I don't know. So, I mean, we, again, it wasn't a bad experience. Yeah, no, we loved everyone. We're upset we right now yeah. because now we don't get to tell you guys our great secret we've been telling mm -hmm. you that we had because we couldn't talk about it under contract. We don't get to be like, guys, we have this show. It's called this. It's going to be airing this day. Like, we're so excited. We were going to have a watch party. And we were should so already excited. be out by now based on, you know. Yeah, the show hasn't even aired yet because they're the still we struggling. Yeah, so. yeah, but you guys can see our behind the scenes footage mm -hmm. and you can know we did do something cool. We just never got to show you. And luckily, for all you guys still watching, you get to watch us on YouTube anyway, so you don't even need to see us on TV. It's True. fine. But it was just a cool experience. It's something we were excited yeah. about doing. And it was definitely different. We're bummed. It, it was pretty fun. So that's that. I will let you guys see the rest of the footage and enjoy.
We're getting the cameras ready. Got mic'd up and we have our producer telling us what we're gonna talk about while Matt works on our channel at the computer. We're sneaking up to the film. We don't think they know we're here yet, so. Family fun pack. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm, I'm Mike Pack. <laughs> He's our producer. He's messing up my video. If you want to snap away, I'm, I'm all good with it. There we go. Everyone's doing it. <laughs> Today we're filming for our show. I'm actually at a park right now. I'm borrowing the producer's jacket because it's freezing outside. But I'm going to show you guys a little bit behind the scenes of the setup. So we have some tables over here. I'm just doing behind the scenes. <laughs> this is the car that's going to be following us. So they've got some camera on the back. This is the car I'm going to be driving. And then here's some more of the production stuff. They have a lot of stuff. Is it strap so I could be a ninja? So he could. <laughs> Yeah. Is, it, is that your jiu-jitsu? Yeah, because he knows no. we're wild, so he has to put it on us. Whoa, you have a jiu-jitsu strap? Yeah. It's a jiu-jitsu. We're going to get you one too. Why? Because you were doing the link and I said like a jiu-jitsu strap. Whoa, your mic's not going to come off today. No, that's the reason. Who were you asking for, Owen? Um, uh, Mike. Do you miss him? Yeah. Did you want him to be here filming with us? Yeah. Yeah. He's nice, huh? We're on set doing interviews right now. Kind of exciting. Especially because it's just us. It's a little better when it's just us. It's a little easier. Interviews for what you might be wondering. Well, I don't want to. All righty. This is the view outside our production studio where we are doing our interviews. Right by the freeway. Just a big, kind of boring building. But I'm actually really excited because it's our first big interview. We're doing, I think, 17 interviews or something like that. It's a lot. This one today is like approximately one and a half, three hours. There's a lot of waiting around. So it's exciting though. I really love what we're doing. You need it? Yeah, thank you. Sure. I want to make sure it was what you wanted. We're in the green room waiting to do an interview for our TV show. Um, what's the 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 moment, so? Working, of course. I'm feeling kind of motion sick yeah, right now, so I'm relaxing. I'm just going to step into my closet in my pajamas with my hair wet. I just got back from the gym and talk to you guys a little bit about filming life. I just want to document it while it's happening because it's crazy. It's a lot like, man, okay, I had a full day. Not only did I spend about five or six hours of my day doing interviews in LA, I came home and I spent another two hours on the phone, then another half hour during Alyssa's soccer game. And we have to have outfit changes and like, it's a lot, like it's extremely fun. I absolutely love it. But there is so much more involved that I never realized was involved. Like Matt's got all this clothes here. We had to get new clothes because there's so many different scenes and I don't like to shop for myself. So I got myself some new clothes. I'm actually thrilled because I've just put myself on the back burner. I don't want to get anything for myself. I'm still trying to lose weight and I just don't think I look good in things. I'd rather get things for my kids. So it's been kind of nice because I finally got a couple things. My stuff is right here. So I got some little like shirts, dresses, jeans that I'm thrilled about. Um, yeah, it's been a day. It's been a week. There's so much going on. I just can't wait for you guys to actually see all this come out because I think our TV show is giving a different look into our lives. Maybe a more vulnerable look, to be honest. It's teaching me that maybe I should be more vulnerable on our YouTube videos, but Anyway, I just figured I would quickly step in my closet and, oh yeah, by the way, our air conditioner broke for the second time in two weeks. It's very hot. It's like 82 degrees in my house. I'm trying to cool it down. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys that too. But 
yeah i mean it's a lot of work it's overwhelming and like i said i want to document it for you guys because i know if i don't talk about it right now with my no makeup wet hair ready to go to bed look <laughs> then i might not do it so anyway there's heather oh hi <laughs> It's the boys' birthday party. It's combined birthday, so we're playing it like it is today. And we are just going to follow everybody that's been staying here. We'll follow the setup. Some of you are mic, some of you aren't. Sometimes you'll have a boom mic in front of you. We'll be able to hear everything you're saying. But we would really just want you to enjoy yourself. This is a birthday party. There's a couple of moments that I discussed with Christine and Matt that we need to get to the show. But in general, we're just kind of documenting everything. So please just be yourselves. And uh, thank you all for uh, participating. Oh, woohoo! Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Doing dishes. There's Gabe. <laughs> the kids are doing school while we're getting set up for our video today. We're going to be doing cooking, so there's a camera there, cameras in the ceiling. Who gave you those Kit Kats? Hey, uh, did we have Mike did? Yeah. He gave you those? Oh my gosh. Are you having it for breakfast? Yeah. Did Mike say you could have it for breakfast? Okay. Oh, there's another camera up there now. Are you having fun? <laughs> We're starting to get mic'd up. Looks like Zach is first. They have to wear masks during school, but then after that we take off the masks. This is all film crew cars in front of my whole entire house down the street. They take over the garage with all kinds of stuff. Getting ready. There's our cameras. Oh yeah, we can move the birthday balloon, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Han, are you excited? David's over there vacuuming for me because my back's hurt. Oh yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh, we got it. We definitely have to block this. You guys need a taller ladder? Yeah, we do. Still getting ready. Zach and Chris are making sure the camera is working, and clearly it is. You guys are some interesting children. All right, great. Let's jump into the competition. What about purple? Pink, purple, and white. I can join the snapping choir. Probably how I hurt my back. <laughs> Probably how I hurt my back. Oh. Anything we keep saying. <laughs> That's right. Thank I'm you. not putting it on YouTube yet. <laughs> This is my life every day the film crew comes. I open my window and they're all here. Everybody's always here. Uh, every time. It helps if you open your mouth? Yeah. It's like oh. A weird technique, but it oh. Like These two are like best friends now. They've been talking for at least 30 minutes or longer. This is the control room. Right now it's kind of empty, but they usually stand in here while we're filming. There's their laptop, a bag, and a chair. And let us watch what we're doing on those little monitors. Do we have enough angle? I mean, so, here, let me show you. And we have number four. Oh, she almost got it. We tried to say that was a wrap. Can I, can I have everybody's attention real quick? Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, here we go. Everybody's attention, real quick. Yes, attention. Did you do a wrap? Is Ruby here? Please, I She's there. I'm right here. Okay, I'll do this today. She's gonna do it next time. Maybe. <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> Ruby's gonna try real quick. Oh, can you do it? Okay, guys, that's a wrap. Yeah! Woohoo! Enthusiastic You guys are just much more comfortable with the process. And even more than that, you seem so happy. And it just like it's radiating through the through the stream. Even though I'm not wearing makeup, and I'm extremely nervous about that. I feel like I should have makeup on. Yeah, look, your smile is so beautiful. You just have this, there's just such a lighter energy in you now compared to like the beginning. First thing yeah. <laughs> This is so exciting. This is great. Like I'm in the press room. Really. Good. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally awesome. <laughs> like, is it, he hasn't been here since the first That's true. Day. Right, he saw like, and he's just like, That's okay. the it's beginning like, of you know, you don't even really have to walk in. I go, yeah. just when she goes, Mike, uh, what you about yeah. to say? <laughs> she just really start to break the, uh... It's okay, thank you. Just get a quick wrap up where Christine and Matt are going to say thank you. Okay. It doesn't mean that you have to leave, but they just want to say a couple of words to you. And just have like a nice moment to wrap it up. All right? So Christine and Matt, I'll meet you guys. Uh, hi, everybody. Can I get your attention real quick, please? So it's getting later, and obviously, and uh, we need to just get a quick wrap up where Christine and Matt are going to say thank you. Doesn't mean that you have to leave, but they just want to say a couple of words to you and just have like a nice moment to wrap it up. that you guys know who lives in our backyard who never leaves they get the frog they bring it in the house they put it in her hand <laughs> it was so funny and then another one of the cat or the crew members told us that they were scared of clowns i'm like why would you tell my kids what you're scared of you know what they're gonna do i have a bunch of boys so they go out you know you guys know we have a lot of costumes they get out full-on clown costumes and they're like chasing this crew member around the yard and i'm like oh my gosh like what is going on but the crew they like loved our kids they they couldn't get enough of the kids they were so sweet it got to the point where we would like sit during lunch instead of the crew sitting out like we would sit together a little bit and i just talked to them throughout the lunch they'd hang out in the house now one of the annoying stories is the teachers i know they have to have the onset teachers we know they do but at the birthday party of owen david and michael the combined birthday party um, you guys can go back and watch that video. You'll notice that like towards the evening-ish, like five, six o'clock-ish, Owen kind of like disappears. Now that's because the teacher didn't tell us ahead of time and she also didn't tell the producers ahead of time. It was a complete oversight because you think when they're in this kind of stuff, they'd know. But Owen had already worked long enough. So Owen's sitting there swimming in the pool and then the producer's like, um, we gotta get Owen out of here. He can't be in the video anymore. I'm like, what? I'm like, this is his birthday. And he's like, yeah, we got to get him out. He can't be in the show. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do here? Because apparently him sleeping earlier in the day counted as work. Yeah. Because their film crew was here preparing in the garage. Yes. 
So his hours were already counted because kids can only be like working for so long. So he's swimming in the pool. He doesn't think he's working. He's having a great time enjoying his birthday. I'm trying to tell him, oh, and you gotta get out of the pool. Of course he doesn't wanna get out. It's his birthday. And so he goes, he finally goes with my mom. She takes her dog back to her house. And in the video, you kind of see like, I think David and Michael opening some presents, like one present or something, and it's kind of weird. And then much later, the rest of the presents happen. The reason why is because I had to do a fake ending for the TV show, so we had closure on that day, but I was kind of mad that day because I didn't want Owen to have to leave his party, obviously. And I'm like, guys, this is still my YouTube video. You're, still, you're messing up my video here. And I'm trying to tell a story with my YouTube video and show my day and how I want to celebrate. And now they're interfering. But then they go beyond that. As soon as Owen leaves with my mom to go drop off the dog, he's like, okay, can we do the pinata now? And I'm like, no, you cannot do the pinata right now. Like, heck no, it's Owen's birthday. Owen is gonna hit the pinata first. He's the youngest birthday boy. Like, I was just like, no. So there was a couple moments where I was just like, this is not okay with me. And I'm not even joking. After I said no to that, he comes back literally a minute later. Can we open some presents right now? And I was just like, is this real? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I have to point. Yeah. So, I mean, there were some, there were some funny stories, but I mean, yeah, like I said. It was a good experience. Good experience. We had fun. We kind of understand what it's like in case there's another yeah. opportunity. And we're we'll good know whether we want to do it again. Filming with a film crew. We definitely, I mean, we knew what to do. Honestly, I think our YouTube experience helped us though. Because yeah. they kept like, man, you guys are naturals. And I'm like, well, we film all the time. Like, <laughs> this is normal for us. But I mean, we had, we had some fun. I mean, honestly, we got to do something with Layla Ali, which was fun. Oh, that yeah. was set up through the TV. We knew her previously, but I mean, we got to do something fun with her and that was cool. Yeah. If you saw our cooking competition video. Yeah. That was all for the show. That was also awesome. eating gross things. There's no way she's gonna beat me. So. <laughs> Finally, something he can win. We'll see. We'll see. I have we'll to see. redeem myself after the last embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yes. But you're pulling for me a little more. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun being on the show. We loved the crew members. Everybody was nice. There was not a single person I didn't like. Even the teacher, with her rules, we still liked her. We have pictures with the teacher. She got my kids little like erasers and she'd give them things and she was really sweet. So there was a couple of teachers, they're all nice, so. She said Michael could pick an eraser for doing so good in school. Now That's let's nice. See. How did David do? Mm. Well, I got detention. You got detention? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> sounds like he wasn't very good. <laughs> Those are all so cute. Thank you. Love them. Oh, and some of them have moving parts. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. So not not for under three, but I I know no one's under even Owen's. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you found one you like. <laughs> David, you better get in there. Eliza, you better hurry. Oh, that's good. Look, a lion. Oh, you found a lion? Does the head move? I think the head moves on there. All right, look. That's cool. Well, this like comes off. There's like a cake and a plate for it. That's cute. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. This is so cute. Anyway, all in all, good experience. We're really sorry we don't get to really fully show it to you guys. We're pretty bummed. I know we're kind of like laughing and smiling, but I wasn't feeling that way like an hour ago. So <laughs> I'm just trying to like be happy. <laughs> you know, it's like laugh or cry. So I'm choosing to laugh right now. But. We will see you guys in our next video. Tell us your comments and your feelings and your thoughts because I, I don't know, I wanna hear what you guys have to say. And we will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.